What if I told you that there's a way to share your JotForm links with your own branded domain? We're going to use a third party service to accomplish this. Let me show you what I'm talking about right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George and today I'm going to show you how to share your JotForm links with a branded domain. Now for this, we are going to need to have our own domain. If you already have a domain, we can use a subdomain for it. So that means that you don't have to purchase a secondary domain to use it for this case and purpose. So let's get started with this tutorial. Like I mentioned before, we're going to use a third party service. For this, we're gonna use Rebrandly. And yes, they do have a free tier if you want to use that. Now let's go ahead and over to Rebrand Rebrandly dashboard to get started. This is the main dashboard of Rebrandly and we're gonna get started by heading over to domains and this is a section where we're going to add our own domain. So let's go into new domain and we have two options available here. If you don't have a domain and you want to purchase it here, do search for it and go for it here. But if not, we're going to connect the domain that we already own or that we purchased somewhere else. So let's go into connect the domain. Now I'm going to give you a few examples so you understand how this works. If we are going to use a subdomain, this is the way it would go. For example, subdomain and we would name it anything right subdomain and mydomain.com so this is the main domain but if we are using subdomain we use it here so if i want to name it for example links that would be a subdomain if i want to say forms that would be a subdomain but if i have a domain that i'm not using and i want to use the main domain well i would use it like this mydomain.com so in this case, I'm going to give you a real example of adding a subdomain. So I'm going to name this forms at my domain. It's called mini my dot link. So that's the domain that I'm going to use. And I'm adding a subdomain to this. So let's go click on next. Yes, this is a spare domain. So that means that I'm not using this domain. It has to be a domain that you're not using. And for this case, that's why I'm using a subdomain because I am using the main domain. So let's go click on next. And here we go. It's telling us to create a DNS record. Now, I've purchased my domain on Namecheap, but I'm using Cloudflare DNS. You could just go ahead and go into any DNS service where you, you are using your domain and add this record. Like I mentioned before, I'm using Cloudflare and this is my domain. So mini my dot link. And I'm gonna go into DNS and I'm going to add a new record. Now. It looks different because I'm using Cloudflare, but if you're using something else like Hostinger, HostGator, Namecheap, etc., just go ahead and go into the DNS section. It'll be similar. We're going to add an A record. You can see that A record here. And this is going to be where you add your subdomain. So you can see right here on the top, it says mini my.link, and I'm gonna add the subdomain forms. So now it says forms.minimy.link. And the IPv4, is where we're going to add this address that they provided. Let's click paste. Let's go ahead and save it. And we're good to go. So let's go into Rebrandly. Let's hit, let's go into View My Domains. And we've added it here. So let's go ahead and check the status. So it's a proxy detected. So in this case, we're going to remove the proxy to this. Now, this is a feature that Cloudflare has. Other DNS providers don't have. So We'll remove that. Let's go ahead and retry again. Let's check the status again. And there we go, domain is connected. Be aware that sometimes, sometimes the DNS takes a while for it to um, propagate. Now in this case with Cloudflare is super fast, but in some cases it can take up to 24 hours for this to uh, refresh and work. In this case, we're ready to go. So we're able to use this subdomain for our um, case and purpose. Let's go into links and now we're going to add a new link. In this case, let's go into job form and create a form. Let's go into forms, create a new form, something really quick, start from scratch, classic form. We'll drag in a few elements for this. So let's go into full name and email. And when we go into publish, we have our own domain here that job form provides. So I can copy this link. So remember, this is not a branded domain. We're using JotForm's domain, but what we want to do is add our own branded domain to look more professional. So we grab this link. Let's go ahead and copy it. 
Let's go into rebrandly. We're going to add our link and here we go. We can use the branded domain that we have or we can use rebrandly for this. But in this case, that's the idea using our own custom domain. So now we can add a slash tag to it. So I can say, for example, if the form was for contact, I could put contact here. So let's go ahead and create the link. And this is our new link forms.minimi.link.contact. So we're using our own domain and you would have your own subdomain with your domain and slash contact. And we can do this with all the JotForm links that we want and well, create our own branded link. Let's go ahead and copy this and test it. We're gonna add our link right here. So you can see we have our own branded domain link and let's click enter and it's gonna take us to our JotForm form. Now, by using our own branded domain link, we're able to go to our forms. So it makes you look more professional. So instead of using this link that we have by default, well, you have a branded domain link that we have available here by using a third party system that's a link shortener. So you can see that the link is created right here. We have the information, let me refresh. It's gonna show us the amount of clicks and more information about this. Here we go. So there's three clicks to this. We can start it to make it favorite. We can visit the URL to check it out. We can copy it, we can share it. And another cool feature that Rebrandly has is that we can edit the link. So if I click on this link right here, I can edit the link that we have created. So if I click on this, I can update the form link to another one. Why would this be useful? Let's just say that you are sharing this link, which is our branded link, in YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, websites, blogs, etc. Well, we don't need to go and change that link in any of those places. All we have to do is go in here to Rebrandly and update the link here to the new form that we want to use. And that's just a quick example of how you would take advantage of this link shortener system. But basically, that is how you're able to use your own branded links if you want to do so and look more professional. Well, I do hope that you like this video. Go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll see you on our next tutorials.